Hey guys, and we did it. We're at a thousand subscribers, which is a crazy number. Um, I never thought I'd ever get a thousand subscribers, which is uh, pretty cool, so I'm pretty excited. Now, um, as most of you know, I just went to China a couple, uh, like, a couple days ago, actually. And um, I just got back, and I have a whole lot of school to catch up on, so I actually haven't been really doing very many science experiments at all. I've just been doing homework, because I missed quite a bit of school. Anyhow... Um, so this is the first video I've made in quite a while, but um, I wanted to do something interesting for this, um, but I just don't have the time right now. So, hopefully in one or two weeks or something, I'll be able to release a video on setting off about a kilogram of thermite on a big block of ice, and we'll see what happens. I've seen people do it with 10 pounds of thermite, but um, I don't have that much thermite, or at least enough components to make that much thermite. Um, currently, so I think a kilogram should suffice, and we'll see if anything interesting happens. Anyhow, so what we're going to do for a thousand subscribers video is a quick lab tour. So, as you can see, my fume hood is currently a horrible mess, and um, that's because I just haven't cleaned stuff up. It's got this nice light here, so I can turn stuff on and off, and of course, it has a fan so that I can suck toxic fumes out and throw them out into the environment, which is wonderful. Anyhow, so that's basically what the inside of my fume hood looks like, and there's what the top looks like. That's where I keep most of my glassware and stuff that's more commonly used that I need more often, and a couple of my chemicals up there. Anyhow, if we come over to the side, this is my chemical, sh well, part of my chemical shelf. This is where I keep commonly, ac like, commonly used accessible chemicals that sometimes I need, and um, I find these little containers work really well. You can buy them at the dollar store. I use them all the time. Anyhow, so that's what's on the side over there. Got a bunch of plants along the side. My room is a horrible mess right now. But um, in each of these um, styrofoam containers is where I keep most of my glassware. Currently, I'm using a couple different round bottom flasks, but normally I keep round bottom flasks in there. Uh, various different condenser columns and whatnot inside of here and separatory funnels and whatnot. And um, I normally keep my large Erlenmeyer flask inside of here which I currently don't have in there because I'm using. And in there is like various other distillation pieces such as um, like hosing and clamps and whatnot. And uh, my lab stands right there. Um, anyhow, that's basically what I do um, inside my house. I don't do a whole lot uh, in my house though. Mostly I do stuff outside. I do keep my hot plate outside and uh, some of the more dangerous chemicals outside of course. But um, for the most part, that's basically my lab. It's not super exper uh, like advanced by any means, but um, it gets the job done. And this new fume hood is extremely useful because I can do much more experiment or many more experiments inside. Um, and then this final thing over there is like my horrible chemical shelf there, which um, and well, not just chemicals, but like miscellaneous things that is all junk. So, so I have some useful things over there, but. Anyhow, this is basically my lab. It's all in my room. You can see my room is currently a very large mess because I just got back from China and kind of dumped everything there. So, now you know what my lab looks like. So, in a week or two, hopefully I'll have that thermite ready and we can do a proper 100 subs or 1,000 subscribers video um, and actually do a cool reaction. So, thank you so much for all the support, you guys. This has been awesome. Thank you. And I'll see you in a future video. Wait, bye.